It's the Next Level Physicians podcast with Dr. Maisha, empowering doctors and medical professionals to thrive outside the box. Dropping new episodes every Monday so you can start your week thriving right. Hey, hey, welcome back to another episode of Next Level Physicians, Doctors Thriving Outside the Box. Your host, Dr. Maisha here. And I just got back from the uh, Bootcamp MD Live 2.0 conference, which I uh, co-planned and co-facilitated uh, with Dr. Mike Wu Ming, who is also the um, creator of the Bootstrap MD podcast. And we had several amazing speakers there. Shout out to Dr. Nana Corsa, um, to Dr. Eric Tate, and to Dr. John Jerica. Um, over the next few weeks, I'm going to be featuring them on the podcast to be to kind of bring some of what some of the like key points, learnings that even they got, and some of the key points they delivered from the weekend. But I, I myself, you know, there was some really big learnings that I got, and specifically, you know, about h- how you cannot know the trajectory of your future. And really knowing the future is overrated. You know, when I um, started practicing medicine, oh, 15 years ago, I would have never guessed that I would be on this path. My vision of what my career was going to be like was to be a traditional family doc. And then at some point I realized in my residency that That wasn't what my trajectory was going to be like, but I still didn't see this being a co-facilitator and empowering, you know, um, dozens of docs and actually hundreds of docs, really, because once this goes out, you know, hundreds of docs are going to be following in creating their ideal careers. You know, like I never dreamed that that would be the type of leadership that I would be in the community. And, um, and so, you know, if I had continued to be attached to what I thought my vision would be, I would never get here. And so it's, it's, an, it's one of the things that I'm learning and that I learn as I see um, these, the participants or the people who I interact with, the doctors that I coach, the participants that come to these workshops is that sometimes you really have to step into the unknown and allow yourself to be led and um, guided by the community, by your tribe, by the universe, and, and, and allow that, that purpose and that path to open up on its own without us trying to force it. You know, we as doctors, we are practice in creating solutions for patients. Like really, we diagnose the problem, we know the algorithm um, to treat the patient. And that's that's known for us. We know what the outcome is going to be because it's been researched over and over again, time and time again. However, when you are um, embarking up on something that is of your full self-expression, sometimes you don't know exactly what that looks like. You can visualize it. You can mind map it out. Y'all know I love mind maps. You can mind map it out, but really you can't know where it's going to take you. Um, Case in point, you know, I knew for a very long time that integrative medicine was my path. I still love it to this day, but as I practiced, Over time, and I went into one specific aspect of integrative medicine when I started, I started with acupuncture, and um, I loved acupuncture, and then I added in coaching. But there were times when I thought there were certain aspects of integrative medicine that I thought, no, I'm not really interested in going in that direction. And what's so funny and ironic about it is two, three years later, I would end up moving exactly in that direction and loving it and wondering why I hadn't considered that direction before. You know, um, when I was first introduced to the world of 
hypnosis and NLP, I was like, oh, that's great uh, for that over there. But that's not something that I myself would be interested in bringing into my practice. And I was at a certain point. And then only about three years later, I, I really got the world of how NLP and how hypnosis and how these um, modalities could really excel my coaching and, and really expand the effectiveness of my coaching. And so not only did I go on to become um, a practitioner, I went on to become a master practitioner and then a trainer. And so that's, that's sort of the next, um, and I, and I, when I first even decided I wanted to become a practitioner of neurolinguistic programming, which is the long version of NLP and hypnosis, I was not thinking that I was ever going to be a trainer. I would look at those people and be like, no, I think that's too much for me. I can't see myself doing that. And, and even, you know, conferences, I was, I'm, I was content to be a speaker at conferences and these weekends. I was content to just grace the stage, but I, never did I think that I'd be co-facilitating and even thinking about planning my own um, event, work VIP day, weekend retreat. I didn't think that that would be something that would be interested. And here we are after this weekend, um, and I am, you know, really sort of uh, in awe of how, where I've come. And then I look out at, you know, some of the docs, some of the, my colleagues and the people that I get to um, associate with and, and be, uh, share the stage with. And I would have never thought that was possible. So as I, I always say this to, you know, my colleagues and who, who are embarking on these new things, you don't know what's possible. You really don't know what's possible. You think you know what's possible, but you really don't know what's possible and what you're capable of creating. And it's really our own minds, our own thought processes, our own conditioning that comes from, that we inherited, by the way. It's not something that we came up with on our own. Oh, I'm going to be conditioned. I'm going to be um, I'm going to have these limiting decisions. I'm going to adopt these. No, we don't do that. That's crazy. We have inherited these ways of being, these ways of thinking from our, our training, from our parents, from generations, from our society that says you can't do this or you can't do this that way. But I am, I have seen it. And I am the poster child for it, that you can create whatever it is that you want. And there is structure and there are things to learn and there is coaching to be had. But you can really create what it is that you want. Case in point, one of our speakers, and I can't wait to interview her so she can tell the tell you the full story, Dr. Nana Corsa, was not able to make the was not able to make the the um, full boot camp last year, but she was able to see the recording, which I'll, I'll keep you abreast, but we will be releasing um, the, the recording of this particular event, and uh, that'll be for sale uh, coming up in the spring sometime, so you can stay tuned for that. But uh, we will, but you know, she bought the recording and, you know, watched the the boot camp weekend, got so much out of it, produced her own. You know, one of the things Dr. Mike said is create your own Facebook group. And she took action. And now she has over, you know, a thousand people in her Facebook group. And that was just less than a year ago. That, you know how, that's significant to be able to grow a Facebook group that quickly. And, and so, you know, she didn't know that it would be that possible. And then guess what? And then she ended up being on the stage, sharing her inspiration and her story. And she's an amazing 
a person, an amazing coach. Like I said, I will be interviewing her in the coming weeks. But I say this to say that you really don't know what's possible when, um, and, and to see the future is just to try to see your future is completely overrated because you don't know the trajectory of your career. You don't, you don't, I mean, it's predictable if you do nothing that it'll continue to go the way it's going now. Not that that's bad, right? You may be in a career that you love doing exactly what you want to do. No changes, right? You may be doing exactly what you want to do, completely fulfilled. But here's the thing. Um, and, and then look, if that is the case, then if you do nothing predictably, predictably, it could continue to go the same way. But even as such, life happens. We get inspired from time to time. And if we take action on that inspiration, then our trajectory of our whole life can change. Um, family things can happen. And when that happens, the whole trajectory of our life and our career can change. So what I'm saying to you is, you know, predictably, if you do nothing, then it'll continue to go the way it's going. But if you cont- if you allow yourself to hear and answer the knocks that come from time to time, the knocks of inspiration, the callings that come, then you could produce something uh, quite amazing. You know, one of the things that I am, um, you know, I, I keep hearing the knock of is, is, is opening this training school for neurolinguistic programming for the high performing professional. And so that, that knock is, it, I'm looking into that and that, that's something that, um, who knows will be, will be, um, launching in the next year. So what is that for you? What is that knock? What is that thing that you have had in the back of your mind, that thought like, oh, could I do this? Like, or I'd love to do this. But your, your automatic inner voice shuts you down and says, no, I can't do that. I can't do that, right? Um, what is that dream that you sort of have put on the shelf and have said, um, gosh, someday... I'll do this someday, maybe when I get here, I'll be able to do that. What is that dream? What is that calling? Here's the thing. You don't have to wait until you can start right now. You can start that right now. Um, I would invite you to take that dream off the shelf Or take that idea or that that's knocking, that calling, that's pulling you and begin to take one step. Even if that step is to listen to this podcast, listen to Dr. Mike Muming's podcast, listen to Dr. John Jerica's podcast, to, um, you know, Dr. Eric Tate, all of their, and I'll put their, the names of their podcasts in the notes that'll be in the show notes today. Um, Dr. John Jerica's is, uh, Physician Non-Clinical Careers and um, Bootstrap MD is Dr. Mike's and uh, forgive me, Dr. Eric, his podcast is uh, The Physician's Road. So, you know, those three, there's a gazillion podcasts out there, right? And, and, and though ones that I've been on even, you know, you, last week you heard me um, hanging out with Dr. Charmaine Gregory, Dr. G, and Fearless Freedom Podcast. Even if you just start to listen to other people's podcasts to get ideas, to get you know the inspiration of what's that next right step to take, right? Then you will have taken a step. And then what there is to do is to start to surround yourself with like-minded people who are doing that thing that you want to do. Start to surround yourself with those people. Start to really create and your tribe. Create and, and move into your tribe. That's one of the things that um, 
we talked about this weekend is finding your tribe because those are the people who are going to not only inspire you but empower you and help you to be accountable for taking that dream off the shelf. And then, you know, finally, you might consider hiring a coach. That's something Dr. Nana Corsa, you know, that was a mantra that she brought over and over. And we reinforced that in the weekend that if you need help, get help. And it may be that you hire a coach and you might find that there are so many out there. It's what, who, it's what you resonate with. Excuse me. It's who you resonate with that matters and who has done the thing that you want to do, who has the structure to take you there, right? Who is it that has the structure to take you there, who is doing what you've already done, who's produced results in others, and who you resonate with at the end of the day. So these are three little things that you can start today. You know, listening to others who have done like the podcasts or or, or YouTube videos or joining groups, surrounding yourself, surrounding yourself with your tribe, and then looking at um, potentially hiring a coach or joining some type of mastermind that will keep you accountable for taking those next steps, right? And the first thing you have to do really is get yourself clear that it's time. Move yourself through those stages of change. One, that's one of the things that we talked about this weekend. You know, where are you in the stage of change? Are you, are you still in contemplation? Are you declaring now that it's time and moving into that preparation stage? Um, and, or are you thick in the way, in the preparations and you are needing to set up structures to move you along the way? Any of those times are good times to begin to reach out into the community and get uh, help and get accountability partners so that you can successfully continue to thrive, you know, grow to thrive outside the box. So that's really what I wanted to share with you today. Just for me, you know, it's like a little bit of a debriefing of the weekend um, and, and really to begin to, to begin to bring um, to you like the possibilities of the future that's unimagined yet. Okay. The future that's unimagined yet. So, you know, you don't know the, what's, what's possible. Knowing the future is overrated. When you take that dream off the shelf and allow yourself to be led and, and guided by um, not only the, your universe, but, but by your tribe. And that doesn't mean you are doing what somebody else is doing. It just means that you hear the knock and you answer the knock and you allow yourself to flow like water, you know, down the, down, um, the path uh, that you're being led. Then you find that purpose and uh, it can be amazing. So I hope you enjoyed today's podcast. Um, if you want to reach out to me, of course, you can go to my website, drmaisha.com, and you can choose one of the three ways um, to interact and engage with me. I, if, you if you like this podcast, please share it. Share it with someone who you think it would inspire. Uh, this is a tribe and a community that I'd love to grow. Um, my my passion is inspiring and empowering my colleagues. So if you like it, share it. And finally, um, have an amazing day. Have an amazing week. And I look forward to bringing you more tips on thriving outside of the box, more empowerment on thriving outside the box on the next podcast. Namaste. Thanks for listening to the Next Level Physicians podcast with Dr. Maisha. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn at Dr. Maisha or backslash Dr. Maisha on any of these platforms. Or if you want, 
You can listen directly through my website, www.drmaisha.com. The podcast you just heard was made using Anchor. Ever thought about making your own podcast? Anchor makes it really easy for anyone to get started. It's a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, and distributing podcasts. Best of all, it's 100% free. Sign up now at anchor.fm slash new. That's anchor.fm slash new to get started.